Well, I'm here in the Council of Ministers' Chamber talking with uh, the Chief Minister about this decision that you've made today. Um, maybe people were expecting it, I suppose some were, maybe others thought, no, he'll stick it to it. But we're talking about Peter Cowan anyway, who's now left your government. Explain, please. Yes, it was a, a difficult decision to, to take. Uh, Mr. Caron has settled in well in the, the Council of Ministers and uh, has really grown into the job over the last few months. Uh, but we have a very clear rule in the Council of Ministers in relation to collective responsibility. When the uh, presentation on the um, uh, Pinewood proposition was made to Council, we had a full and very frank uh, debate around the table. And Mr. Caron was very supportive of the proposition. He agreed to vote for it in Tinwell and he specifically mentioned the need for everybody to comply with collective responsibility. Now, in many ways, collective responsibility is the glue that holds government together. If we don't have that, then discipline collapses and we will not be able to get government policy through. He uh, made it very clear at uh, Council that he was going to vote in favour of it. He met with his uh, leadership in the Liberal Bannon Party on Friday evening. They told him to vote against it even in the knowledge that almost certainly it would lead to them losing their ministerial representation in the council. Nevertheless, Mr. Caron decided to uh, take the uh, promptings of his party leadership and vote against. But he was in a rock and a hard place there because if he didn't vote for, with his party, he might have been expelled or sanctioned. And, and this has always been the case from day one, hasn't it? This is one of the, the handicaps of party politics in the Isle of Man. Do you put the party ahead of the best interest of the island? and indeed the, the good workings of, of government. This was a decision Mr. Caron was very aware of. It was spelt out to him very, very clearly last week what the implications would be if he went uh, against a previously stated position that he had within the council of voting for it. Uh, it was inevitable that he would have to stand down. And you mustn't lose sight of the fact that it's only a few months back uh, and very much with the enthusiastic support of Mr. Caron that I had to remove uh, Mr. Hall and Mr. Horton right. from and, and the Department the of Education. Isn't that where you have got yourself a slightly stuck because you've, you've, you've laid down your rules and you had nowhere, there's no wriggle room on this there, one? There isn't, and nor should there be. Collective responsibility, as I say, is the glue that holds government together, not just in the Council of Ministers, but in departments. It is absolutely important that every issue is thoroughly scrutinised and, and fierce debates do take place in departments and in the Council of Ministers. But once that decision is decided on, the departmental members and the council ministers have to stand behind that decision. With the previous position in education, both Mr Hall and Mr Horton felt, notwithstanding the uh, position taken by the department, they could not support it and therefore uh, abstain themselves from the vote. At that point, I had no option, not because of the vote itself, but because of the, the breaking with collective responsibility. And that's what's happened this time too. I think many years ago though, yourself, you, you've, you've gone against what was agreed in Comin, haven't you? I mean, we're talking about a long way, long time ago. But... Many, many years ago, I've, I've had my disagreements. Um, but I think the urgency of the times we live in, the very important decisions, what we're having to make now, and that we've only just begun to make those decisions. This next couple of years are going to be even more difficult with decisions on social care, on benefits, on health, many other issues, we have to instill discipline into government. And uh, there has to be a very clear understanding that uh, collective responsibility does hold sway across departments and ministers. There can't be one law for ministers and one for uh, backbenchers in the present environment. And this, I'm afraid, is what I've had to impl implement today. And let's make this clear. You pushed, he didn't jump. No, it was made very clear to him last week what the position was, that if he went in favour of his party's uh, promptings to vote against uh, a position he'd already previously voted for, he would lose his job. It was made very clear and that was the decision Mr Caron took.